Well, hello there. Today I've got something very, very special. I have had this box set for decades now. Um, so I wanted to show you the, the box. It's actually it's been it's kept really well for the for how old it is. Uh, this is the High Elf Lord of Dragons. Um, it's from a games workshop way back in the day when the old hex paints were the were the thing of the day. Um, it's a multi-part kit. I've already stuck the miniature together. It's just here. And I've actually added it some a bit of some basin as well. Uh, but I wanted to show you the box and what's inside. Um, but also what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it up. And then I'm going to give you a little 360 of what it's like when I finished. Uh, but um, what's really cool about this set is I've still got, I've even still got the stickers. So we've still got the uh, standard stickers. Um, that came with the actual miniature so I'll be sticking these stickers on later as well now I could sell this on eBay and make some money but I don't want to sell it on eBay and make some money I want to paint it myself um, I think this will look fantastic in my collection now what's really cool is it also comes with a leaflet as well uh, which has got all the old old Warhammer gear on it um, so you know this is back in the day where you'd where you dribble over what you wish you could afford because I remember when I was a kid um, in my teens I couldn't afford to buy all the nice Warhammer stuff I used to do I still do my paper around you know <laughs> but you know you got the old uh, the very first uh, Warhammer 40k there and you got all sorts of stuff and again there's the pots of paint the hex pots yeah, I got the whole I got the whole collection of the hex box still, and I still use them to this day. Uh, what I do like about this though is um, it's got a special offer. Uh, while stocks last, we'll send you two plastic Citadel miniatures, a black orc and a space marine, four Citadel color paints, black, red, green, and white, a Citadel paintbrush plus a Citadel Miniatures Painting Guide and a Games Workshop Catalogue. And all that was only £5. And £5, I mean, remember, this is back um, probably in the late 80s, early 90s. Um, so it's still, uh, it, it's a, it was a good price back then for the paints. But the, I remember buying these Hexpot paints for about 65p <laughs> back in the 80s. Oh, good old days, good old days. Anyway, let's get back to the actual box. It comes, this is the little box it came in. Um, and of course, this is the actual miniature. It's all solid metal. Uh, let me get some focus for you. Absolutely beautiful. Now, I'm not going to do any painting guides today. Um, this. 10,000 people doing Games Workshop painting guides um, so I am just going to paint this the way I want to paint it and what I'll do is once I've finished I'll come back and give you a 360 of the finished miniature but as you can see I've added a nice rock base uh, so I'll give that all the dry brush in um, I'll, I'll probably paint it similar to what's on the actual original um, but I'm not sure if I want to go blue. I probably will go blue just to keep in with the with the theme. Uh, but it's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful miniature. So what I'll do, I'll see you in about two days' time <laughs> with a 360 of the finished miniature. Thank you. 